expected. We, we had been listening to reactions from Russia uh, repeatedly saying that they will be responding uh, in a very similar way. And as our Russia uh, reporter uh, commented there, if the reciprocation was very much in the same scale, even the number of diplomats are the same. It's 60 diplomats plus a consulate. And I should uh, give an interesting uh, fact here because part of uh, that decision as to which consulate to shut down uh, inside Russia, I think that might have been uh, influenced by a, a, a poll that uh, the the Russian embassy conducted here in Washington uh, just days ago. There was a Twitter post uh, asking their followers. The U.S. administration ordered the closure of the Russian consulate in Seattle. What U.S. consulate general would you close in Russia if it was up to you? And as of uh, Thursday, we uh, Tuesday rather, we understand 57,000 voters responded. The majority of them, with 47 percent, voted for the St. Petersburg uh, consulate, the American consulate in St. Petersburg. And it's interesting that the decision turned out to be that one. Now, we still don't have any official reactions for this, not from White House. President Trump himself spoke at another event about the national infrastructure. He didn't make any comments about the Russia decision. And we are still uh, waiting for the State Department press briefing uh, to start any moment. So as soon as we get more updates, we will, we will be sending them.